Hey, what's up everyone? So today we're going to be doing case project 4-1 phone photo prints app. Um, so the first thing we should do and I recommend doing is um, doing your what do you call it? Your icon first. So we just go to our res folder, we hit new image asset uh, make sure it's on adaptive and legacy Keep everything the same except for here for the path we're going to select where we have our image at and trim I think just does transparency in the back so let's go ahead and do you want to fit it in here so once you have it fit you can then just hit next you can hit next or finish and then we're going to go to our XML and we're going to go to our um, app theme and we're just going to select Halo Light and hit OK. And we should see it up here. There you go. So once we have that there, we go to our values, our styles XML sheet. Let's go ahead and Keep it like that as well. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to go to our Java and then we're just going to add some code so we could test this out first. Because if if it doesn't show um, and you do this last, you might have to just restart your whole project because, um, yeah, because you're not familiar with Android Studio, so you're not going to really get. So it's better off to just do it now. Display, and we're going to look for home. Show home, actually. Show home enabled. True. Set that row. R dead. Yep. Display and then uh, use logo enabled. I'm gonna hit true. Oops. Okay, so what we could do is just run it. Good. See, and then we have the icon here with the title. So that's good. Once you have this, then you know you could do everything else like how you've been doing it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and design the app and then I'll come back when I'm gonna add the code. <clears throat> okay, so in this chapter, they show you radio uh, buttons and radio groups. So what you would do is you would add your group first. And then each radio button that you have, you would put underneath the radio group in the component tree. And then you're going to have to customize um, each size individually. And you guys should already know how to do that. And then assigning the text and stuff is the same thing. You just go to your text and then you just select your, uh, your string you have in your strings. Your constraining part is actually just the group itself. Your name, red group, and then you just uh, go ahead and just center it out. Okay, and then yeah, so your your size, you would um go ahead and just change it. Okay, okay. Another thing this chapter introduced was uh, text colors, so we would. Go to text color, and then it's in hexadecimal. So you just type in any color you want. You could use any um, online resource to figure out what color is what. I believe Android Studio may have. Um, let me see if this one has it. So I go text color, click here. Yeah, so you can actually select a color here, but I'm just going to do hexadecimal and just make everything. Uh, blue. So once you do that, they also the chapter also introduced gravity. But I believe I've been showing it already, but I'll do it just in case for any newcomers. So you go to gravities, gravity under your attributes, and then you do uh, center horizon and center vertical. Okay, so we already have our design. So next we're going to be doing is the actual coding aspect of it. 
So we already know we're going to need a button. We're also going to need um, variables, global variables, int num. We'll just call it order number. And then we're also going to have our doubles, which are our prices. So red one equals 0 .0, 0 0.19. We do a double order total. So now we're going to set our finals. Final edit text. Uh, num of prints. Okay, so we have that. We're gonna do some final radio um final radio buttons. One and the same with the other ones. And then we're also gonna have our text result. So let's go inside our button now. Order number equals it's an integer int dot parse int. And then here, num of prints dot get text dot t string. Do the decimal format. Now we do the if statements for each radio. So if we we'll just say this be organized radio one. So if Radio one dot is checked. We're going to do order total equals order number times red one in a Okay, and then we're also going to put the text result in here. The book wants um, the user to only enter less than 50. So, so if Okay, so we should be good to go. And we're gonna have the toast, so we're gonna do toast dot make text and then min activity because that's where it happens at dot this comma and key out um, order must be less than fifty toast length long dot show okay we're also gonna have that as well for each one okay well first let's test the orders out so I'm gonna do 51 order must be less than 50 okay so we got the toast Okay. So to make your text make sense to you, must be no more than 50. Make it make sense. So we know the toast works for all of them. So if you have um, any questions or anything, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you like it, and go ahead and subscribe for future content. Mm, bye.